Welcome back to the series where I test the old school RuneScape wiki's money making methods. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel and then comment your RuneScape name down below to be entered into the giveaway so you can win the profits from these methods. And if you like these videos feel free to check out the playlist in the description box down below. But with that all being said, let's jump into today's video. Welcome to Season 7 of Tetano Osiris Wiki Money Making Methods. And today's money maker is going to be Casting Tan Lever. The requirements you will need to be able to do this method are the following. Firstly, you will want to have at least a level 78 in the magic skill. This is so you have the correct magic level to cast this spell. Secondly, you will want to have completed the Lunar Diplomacy quest. This is so you have access to the Lunar Spellbook where this um, spell resides. After you have completed both of the first two requirements, then you will need to have completed the Hard Fremenic Diaries, as this diary is required for you to be able to cast the spell. And lastly, a fire staff is recommended so you don't have the running cost of fire runes. But now let's go over my gear and inventory. All I have for my gear is a staff of fire as this will save me a little bit of money with the running cost of the fire runes. And I can easily sell this back to the Grand Exchange after doing this method. However, for my inventory all I have is a rune pouch and this contains astral runes and nature runes as both of these runes are required to cast the spell. There is other ways you'll be able to do this if you have different staffs and whatnot, but this is the easiest way to do it. For the rest of my inventory, all I have is red dragon hide, as this is the hide we'll be turning into leather. So let's go over some information about this method. Tan leather is a lunar spell which tans up to five hides in the player's inventory, without the usual cost associated with the tanning leather NPC. In order to cast this spell, the player must have completed at least a hard tier in the Fremenic Diaries and have completed the Lunar Diplomacy quest. After the completion of both the Lunar Diplomacy quest and the Hard Fremenic Diaries, players can use this Lunar spell to tan leather. Players can gain a subnatural profit depending on which dragon hide rice you use let's say if you use green um it could go up it could go down there is a there is like a little graph and i'll link it in the description box down below of the current prices and how much money you will earn from what hide so that'll be in the description box if you guys are looking into doing this method then it'll be down there and uh, it'll just be a link to the wiki but with good timing you can tan up to 8,000 hides per hour and this will award the player somewhere around the region of 130,000 magic experience so i've come to the conclusion that this method is a very a very good way to make money as you will see in the price check and this also gives a decent amount of xp while doing it and finally for just the people who might be interested in casting this tan leather spell on cow hides i don't really think there will be anybody but it is possible to toggle between the two options whether it'll be hard leather or soft leather by actually right clicking the spell icon in the lunar spellbook but as there isn't anything left to say, let's jump on over to the final price check so we can see how much red dragon hide we or red dragon leather we have managed to make over this one hour and to see how much money we'll be giving away in today's video. Welcome to the final price check of casting tan leather. And here in my invent is all of the leather we have managed to make over this one hour. So we managed to get 8,112 leather. I did kind of screw this method up because in my invent I brought out more leather than what I could actually cast. Uh, so the number is a bit weird. <laughs> but that is why um, we came out of 8,112. I did notice about halfway through. But let's just go ahead and calculate this nevertheless. As I bring the calculator are up i'll also bring the picture on screen of what we paid for all of our um, investments so over this one hour we managed to cast 1662 times so um we'll just go in and put 1662 and then that is our the amount of casts we've managed to do and then we will go back to the picture and uh, we need to times this by 182 because that's how much the nature runes cost us so for the nature runes it was 302 or eight four so we'll just go ahead and copy that one six six two so one six six two times by um we got times this by two to start with because it was two astral runes per cast so three three two four and then we will go ahead and times that by 120 so three hundred and ninety eight thousand and we'll just go ahead and copy our copied number paste our copied number sorry so uh seven hundred and one thousand three hundred and sixty four that's how much we paid for all of our runes let's go ahead and copy that so nine thousand leather and we paid two three three six but like i said we cast uh well we managed to make eight thousand 
112 and then we will times that by the price we paid per uh, dragon hide so that was 2336 so that is 18,949,000 which is a, an awful lot um then we'll go ahead and plus our copied number on top of that which was 701,000 so our total investment for this video was 19 million 650,996 GP. We'll just go ahead and copy that now, and then we can get rid of all of this. So now if we go ahead and price check all of these levers, so 8,112 dragon hide levers or dragon or red dragon levers come out to be 20,645,040 GP. So we'll just type that in the calculator. So 20645050 zero four zero and then we will just go ahead and take away our investment which was nineteen six five oh nine nine six so today's profits is actually going to be nine hundred and ninety four thousand and forty four gp and like always that will be going away to one of you guys so let's jump on over to the spinning wheel so we can see we'll be taking away these profits welcome to the spinning wheel uh, we currently have 13 entries I'm not too sure who the newest entries are because I've already gone ahead and shuffled it, but we'll just go ahead and shuffle it again. Um, if you see your name on this wheel anyway, you have entered correctly. But let's just go ahead and spin this. So today's one of our profits is going to be. So congratulations to CY72. You are today's one of all profits. And to claim your winnings, all you have to do is message me in game. My uh, friends chat is always on, on public, so I'll always show up if you just add me. Or you can just jump into this clan chat for a couple of minutes and just claim your winnings that way. I'll more than likely be in there. And uh, when I'm online, you'll sh just see that I'm online. But let's jump on over to the leaderboard so we can see where this moneymaker ranks. Welcome to the Moneymaker leaderboard. On this leaderboard, I ranked the moneymakers after I tried them, and I split it into four columns. The first column is for the method I was using. The second column is for the money this method has earned me. Column three is for the order they rank in, compared to the order I released the videos in. And column four is for difficulty. But after I tried each method, I will rank it. If it is really hard to do, or if it's hard to do, then I'll rank it as red hard. If it is really easy to do, or if it's easy to do, I'll rank it as green easy. And if it is somewhere in between, like a lot of these methods are, then I'll rank it as yellow medium. This is for like the medium tier. So today's moneymaker was casting tan leather. And we decided to cast this tan leather spell on red dragonhide. And this nettles us a profit of 994,044 GP. So this was actually a decent moneymaker, to be honest. Um, this was episode four. So we are a quarter of the way through this new season already, which is quite mad to say I only released the first episode of it a couple of weeks ago and today's method i ranked it as medium i was torn between hard and medium but i decided to go for medium because of the main factor is um a lot of people probably would have done this quest by now and then all you have to do is just do the hard diaries and then get 78 um magic which i don't really think is too hard to achieve so that is why I ranked it as medium. And today's winner was obviously CUR72, as you guys saw that previously. So congratulations to you once again. But I hope you guys have all enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. It really will help the channel grow. We are getting on our way to 4,500 subs. I think we are about 30 away. So if you guys are not subscribed, I really would appreciate it if you could just help us out get to that milestone before the end of this year. But I've been Ben. I hope you guys have all enjoyed nonetheless. And I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye. If you guys are looking around for your newest game, make sure to check out cdkeys.com because they have the cheapest CD keys available on the internet for pretty much every game, even new releases. I'll drop a link down below if you guys want to check them out.